I like the music actually. I decided to take my chance with a little bit of intel I had to manage to obtain from my classmates. I, if memory served me right, Arija Senpai will be practicing at the top, practicing at the dojo today. Of course, I knew her. She was a judo student, just like myself. But for whatever reason, she had been refused compete in any tournament for a while. Ari Sanjay, are you around? I shouted her name as I parked my bike, looking around for a sign of a girl. Ah yeah ha, here I think that was supposed to mean that Hey follow the shouts and you'll find her I grinned briefly as I saw Erija seemingly in the middle of practicing a series of motions, almost as if she was fighting an imaginary opponent. Jesus, reading it hard. Perhaps now was a best was a perfect opponent to pride her a little. I snuck closer, making sure to make a little noise as possible before I reached her. A hand towards her shoulder. Archie, feeling a hand on her shoulder. Ari reacted. She grabbed hold of my hand and with a loud grunt shifted her weight, curling and tipping me over her shoulder. I didn't have time to brace myself for the impact before. I hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. sneaks up on me on the great Kunjoji Ari yeah Ari yeah yeah oh take a boy I didn't realize it was you I'm sorry are you okay Kunjoji more like Tasmanian devil that throw didn't have a shred of mercy in it there's no mercy in the ring, Takaboy. Better than you learn about now than in two weeks time. Let me guess. You want to do some sparing, don't you? I actually came here to ask for you something. But I guess a little sparring would hurt. Oh? What do you want to ask? We've got all afternoon and I couldn't do a bit... Could do bit a bit of a break anyway where to start where to start you used to take part in a big and important match in the past right didn't you ever get nervous before getting into the ring oh yeah <laughs> this one time I got so nervous I hid in the kitchen cupboards until my dad found me and dragged me to the cart of course that was when I was like eight well, obviously, I cannot go and hide for my match. But one of my friends made this su stupid suggestion that I could go and pray or something. Honestly, at this point, I'll do anything to calm my nerves a little. Taka boy, are you sure about this? You mean the match? Of course, I am. I've been practicing judo ever since I was old enough to walk. This is my chance to finally represent this country and the sport I love. Hmm. Ari seems to think for quite a long time. All the while tapping her jaw with her finger. Eventually her she snapped her finger and grabbed her thighs hold of me. Alright, I'll tell you the way to do this shrine, I know. But it's going to require more than a simple clap of your hands and bob your head 
of your head. You need to give something to the shrine, something of value. I guess I have to think of something before we get there. Thanks, Senpai. I appreciate for the help. Wait! Oh! No, 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 no. Takabai, I'm not going without with you. I've got a train to do. Besides, you've got to take this step yourself. I can draw you a map and show you an easy way to get there, but you'll be on your own. You're not taking long? Not even for a while? I'm afraid so, Takabai. Let me just grab some paper. I'll draw you that map for you. After our recent return, quickly prepare preparations were made. But I followed the direction noted down on the map. Surprisingly, it was all that far. However, the hint on how to find my way back in case I lost was a bit sketchy. Just look down and you'll be able to see the roof of the dojo from anywhere on the hill. The forest near the Jojo was my first challenge to overcome. A narrow path coiling along the trees. And nearby was the river Ikachama sister had mentioned. I followed Arjan's scribbles with a bit of skepticism. But after an hour or so, I finally arrived at the supposed legendary shrine. The shrine itself seems surprisingly well maintained it, despite being in the middle of nowhere. It made me wonder if someone could be secret living in there. Perhaps some secret martial arts master? The thoughts of a hermit living in hiding within the shrine in order to prepare himself for an upcoming battle between good and evil started to dwell in my mind. I guess it's too good to be true. I sighed in annoyance at the fact that, aside from the shrine itself, the crown surrounded it simply completely abandoned. There was no one could be living there. <coughs> For the time being, I decided to focus on the reason behind my visit. It only took me a few minutes before I gathered the courage to approach the building. Once inside, I found a rather fancy looking altar of sorts at the back of the room. That looks very good. Cannot complain about it. <coughs> I guess this is the thing everyone is talking about. Seriously, I folded up the map I've been given, put it in my bag, I approached the altar. It was kind of skeptic about the whole religious aspect, so I wasn't too sure if this was actually going to work. I actually don't believe myself, so I don't think it's gonna work, but just me. I don't even think luck will do me such a good in a match like this. In my opinion, there was enough, wasn't any room for this thing, like luck in martial arts. Yudu is all about using the knowledge you have gained through training, of course, and good amount of talent also helped. There was simply no room for something at as super superstition as luck. Clearly it was going to be a match where my experience and talent would be pushed to the limits. Nothing more. Nothing less. How curious! The boy doesn't believe in superstition, and yet he stands here, surrounded by the very thing he denounces. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around, trying to find the source, but there was nothing. Was no one to be seen? Who's there? I like this music. This is very good music, actually. I like Japanese music. Quiet! This clinches question. 
but the right thing to ask is, where am I? What are you talking about? Show yourself! Not yet. Entertain me for a while longer, would you? This is a place like no one other. Why did you come here, if you do not believe in things such as luck? I came here to prepare myself. Oh. Do enlighten me about what this something might be that you are preparing yourself for. I felt a little bit annoyed as the question continued, but maybe if it keeps talking to her, it will be able to find out where she was hiding. I'm preparing for a tournament, a judo match. You? The? What might that be? Seriously? You don't know what about judo is? It's a high skilled combat art. <laughs> so you're a warrior, hesitating, hesitant to go into battle. I come here in hope of finding the resolve to fight. I'm not sure about the warrior part. How fortunate. It just so happens there's need for one of your kind. My kind? A hero. This shrine brings fortune to heroes such as yourself. However, every great hero must sacrifice something in return. Sounds like what the other mentioned. Your version sounds better though. <laughs> Laughing briefly at the story, I decided to play along and clap my hands together in prayer. So what's next? Do I offer my allowance or something? Don't be silly. Money's a bit of little importance to a hero. For you, the sacrifice will be something as much greater value. I will be looking forward to see what destiny has in store for you. As if one cue, I begin to feel nauseous at the moment the girl words reach my ears. My head spinning widely, slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back. As my finger grew blurry, the sound of approaching footstep could be heard. <coughs> Whoa! Everybody loved tits! Sorry, that's just something but I have in mind. Hold on a second. I cannot say that I'm already disappointed. <laughs> this is already fucking awesome, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd in this. Wow. I've drawn myself, but jeez, that's great drawing. Damn. Good luck, hero. You're gonna need this. Despite my attempt to get back up, all I managed was a brief look at the girl. The size of her horns and her tail left many questions, but before I had a chance to utter even a single word, my conscience summed to darkness. A demon, bitch! <coughs> Ray sunlight styled me back to life a crown of annoyance leaving my mouth mouth while I tried to get back onto my feet I felt a bit dizzy but the first thing I noticed was that I was no longer at the shrine instead I looked like the forest near the Jojo Dojo no, no. of course my first thought was to look around to see if I could find the girl from before, but not a trace of her presence 
remained. To make things even stranger, the path that I have followed amidst the trees seems to be seems better maintained than I remember. I should probably head home. That thought was cut short when the sounds of several female voices could be heard nearby. Get back! He just stopped them at once. Just what do you think I'm doing? I'm chasing them! Trying to stop them! No, I don't think they noticed them. What's missing on each other? Keep running, little ones! And we might just make it! Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weather, the sound's heavy footsteps could be heard nearby. Whoa! <laughs> the music suddenly! Appreciate that music! I really like Japanese music. This actually makes no problem. I don't like <laughs> Even without the display of the screen, still like the music like a lot. <laughs> 